Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create database project in Visual Studio 2013. And after creating in Visual Studio 2013 the database project, then we're going to go ahead and add that to our Team Foundation Server 2013, which is our source control. So in order to accomplish this, there are a few things that I have written down for you. First thing that you need is Visual Studio 2013, whether it's premium, professional, or uh, whatever the version of Visual Studio you have. Um, and the connection with Team Foundation Server, if you wanted to add that particular uh, database project to your um, source control, then you need to have a connection uh, with the Team Foundation Server. Visual Studio needs to be configured to be connected with that particular Team Foundation Server. And other is proper permission on Team Foundation Server. Let's say that you are connected with Team Foundation Server and uh, uh, you are going to check in your process or your solution into a dev branch, main branch, or particular folder in those branches, then you need to have check in, check out permission on that particular folder. And same with uh, since it's going to be a database uh, uh, project solution, we're going to uh, need permission to read the database schema. Um, uh, and uh, that permission needs to be uh, properly set on database server. So these things need to be met before we can go ahead and complete this project uh, successfully. I'm going to go ahead in my server and uh, fire up Visual Studio 2013. Here's my Visual Studio 2013. I'm going to go ahead and run as administrator. And our first step is to create a project solution. We're going to go ahead and click on File, New, Project. And these are the, these are the uh, built-in installed uh, uh, templates. So we're going to use a SQL Server template in order to use, uh, in order to create a database project solution. So we're going to go ahead and say Tech Brothers Demo DB Project. And you have an option if you wanted to uh, store this solution somewhere else. This is my right here is my workspace and if you want to change your workspace and uh, you can click on uh, browse and change your workplace and other option is solution name right here is going to be it usually takes from the project name but uh, you have an option to change that a um, couple options up here create directory for your solution it's going to create a different directory if you uh, click on this on your local repository and uh, you have an option right now up here to add this to source control um, if you click on that it's gonna go through and ask you to uh, you know um, when you create your solution it's gonna ask you to add to the source control so I'm not gonna um, select that we're gonna go ahead and work on our local repository and get all the database objects that we wanted to do and do all the manipulation on our database project solution before we check in in team foundation server so I'm not going to check this solution uh, check this uh, option right here so we're gonna go ahead and click OK it's creating a project Tech Brothers demo database um, a solution for us <coughs> excuse me so here is our um, uh, just um, this is the solution that it created for now it's an empty database solution we have an option different option we will go through in a second but uh, I'm, I'm going to show you the first uh, uh, four or five things that I showed you in the beginning that if you click on up here I and click on connect to team foundation server if you don't know how to uh, um, connect to team foundation server you can click on this and select your team foundation server as you can see in my my case I am connected with uh, TBS TFS this is my Tech Brothers TFS and I am connected with my team project which is Tech Brothers this underscore team and if you wanted to change your team foundation server wanted to connect on different server you need to click on select team project and from here you can click on server and uh, uh, put a team foundation uh, your team foundation server and connect to the uh, uh, collection and your team project so just wanted to quickly show you that I am connected with my team foundation server this is going to be needed when we wanted to add our solution uh, to the source control so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and look at the option of our database project 
if you look at it you have this is our database uh, solution if you right click on the database solution we get different options um, we're gonna go ahead if you have already a solution and just you just wanted to add that uh, all those um, um, up here the items already existing items you can do that uh, if you if this is an empty solution right now what we're gonna do is if you click on import you got get three options one is data tier application which is asterisk dot DAC PAC and other is if you wanted to get your uh, existing database and import into you, this particular solution that is the best option if you already have the database and you wanted to uh, work on that particular database adding objects or uh, doing whatever you wanted to do in this particular database solution you can do that and it'll create all the tables schemas and everything it'll grab it from SQL Server and uh, uh, after that you can check in um, in team foundation server and do uh, later on all the manipulation you can go ahead and check out that particular project work on it uh, on a particular piece of the database and then check in and then deploy that uh, solution uh, so up here you have if you have a script that will create your database create your uh, uh, objects of that particular database you can go ahead actually uh, import that particular uh, script once you import that particular script in this solution you can go ahead and execute that solution and it'll create all the database object for for you in this particular solution so in this demo uh, what I'm going to do is to make it easier I'm going to um, import the database that's existing database so I'm going to click on database here is the source database connection this is a SQL server that that is uh, right now holding your uh, existing database so uh, you need to have uh, a permission to get into that uh, SQL server uh, keep in mind that you need to have at least read schema permission on that particular server and you need to have a connection permission on that particular SQL server so I'm going to go ahead and click on new here's uh, the SQL server name in my case is TBS SQL that's my server name and this is my instance and I'm using Windows authentication if you don't have Windows authentication you can use SQL Server authentication which if you click on that you then you need to provide the username and password for that and after that you need to select a database that you wanted to import into this particular solution and click on test setting one thing up here that if you click on this select or enter, uh, enter a database name if you select on this uh, if you click on this particular um, down arrow and you get all the databases from that particular um, SQL server that means you are really connected you don't need to test your connection but uh, sometimes you know it's a good idea to test your connection so I'm going to go ahead and use a database SharePoint underscore config I'm going to import that particular database in my solution so you can click on test connection test connection succeeded we're gonna go ahead if you wanted to change some of the properties of the database you can click on advanced and these are the options right here you can go through these options and change that if you would like to I'm going to keep it as default so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and up here you have uh, import settings uh, it's gonna import application scoped object only import reference logins and I am going to actually import the permissions as well and I'm going to do the import database settings because sometimes if uh, in database settings there are uh, reference uh, set in database settings then it'll import that and you won't run into error later on but keep it, keep in mind if the uh, references are not set right for database uh, solutions you're going to run into uh, issues importing that particular database so I'm I'm going to go ahead and click on start and as soon as I click on start uh, the wizard will start uh, importing uh, database uh, from SQL server into our solution so let's click on start All right, the import wizard is finished so we're gonna click on finish and if you look at it if you open the DBO it has important imported functions store procedures tables 
user defined types views and in security if you look at it it has imported the permissions as well so what we're going to do keep in mind that in the beginning this is we're working on our local repository workspace this has not gone into team foundation server we have not um, checked in in our team foundation server so in next step what we're going to do is check in in team foundation server if you look at right here we have just created database project in visual studio 2013 and now we're going to go ahead and add that to team foundation server which is our source control so we're gonna go back and right click on here on our solution and you will see an option add solution to the source control as soon as we will add solution to the source control it's going to ask us the uh, particular uh, project where we want to add this solution once it creates the that particular uh, project then we're going to go ahead and check in our um, uh, objects database objects and that's when it will be in our team foundation server so we're going to go ahead and click on add solution to source control if you're not connected with team foundation server it's going to give you error at that time that you're not connected with any team foundation server you need to connect with team foundation server first so up here we have uh, when we add uh, into our source control um, we have two options one is that if we wanted to use team foundation version control or if we wanted to use GIT GIT is preferred if you want if you're working on a complex project and you wanted to uh, do a lot of stuff on your local repository before you check in uh, into your um, uh, into team, team foundation server maybe the final version you wanted to uh, check in team foundation server GIT will give you option to keep the versioning on your local repository before it you can uh, uh, check in all the final version uh, sometimes uh, especially the developers uh, that are working on complex project they like to select this GIT um, option because they wanted to work on their local repository um, uh, before they will go in team foundation but in this demo we're going to go ahead and choose team foundation version control uh, that that means that uh, it, it's going to create every check-in and check-out we do it's going to create a version for us every check-in will create a new version whether it's a, a data change set or um, not data change set change set in in team foundation server or it's going to uh, whatever the version control uh, method you have in your team foundation server so for this demo I'm going to just go ahead and click on team foundation version control that's okay with me so click OK here is our team project and we have um, the branches up here which branch you would like to check in so we're gonna whatever the branch that um, you would like to check in in your solution you need to have permission to check in to that particular branch you need to go ahead and uh, let's say that uh, you're uh, um, uh, team lead or whoever you know uh, created a project folder already for you and they want you to check your all database solution into that particular project uh, uh, particular folder then you're gonna go ahead and select that folder so I'm going to do same DB this is going to be my folder and it's gonna go ahead and create another folder named Tech Brothers Demo and if you look at it right here this is going to be the path and it's going to um, check in our not check in add our solution to the source control in this particular folder so we're gonna go ahead and click OK all right as you can see that right here the plus sign uh, it's newly added however it's not been checked out let's look at it let's open this is our team right here team explorer if you click on home and go to uh, source control explorer you will see that up here it's added but however it's not checked in every code up here it's just it added it but it did not check in so in order for it to um, finish to be in our source control and um, check in you can work on it as far as it's checked out you can work right now it's added in source control but before end of the day before you close your 
uh, project, you need to check in this project. But in this demo, particular demo, we're, we're really done with that. So we're going to go ahead and check in the um, our, our folder. So we're going to go ahead and check in pending changes. Uh, comment is checking in DB project version 1. So we're going to go ahead and check in that. As you can see, that is adding all the uh, SQL Server stuff. So we're going to go ahead and look at our uh, Solution Explorer again. And if you see right here, everything is checked in. So this is uh, in this uh, video, I wanted to show you that how to create a database project. And after creation of the database project, how you add that to particular source control and I hope this video helps.